Okay, so uh, I'm up on the mezzanine above the uh, generators, and uh, what we have here is it's called CHEMS, and it's a uh, emissions continuous emissions monitoring. And uh, we have to do this in order to meet our permit requirements for making electricity in the middle of the wilderness up here in Alaska. So um, what we're going to do now is uh, put the thing through a calibration to make sure that it's accurate. It's a pretty political process as far as um, making sure this equipment is accurate and that we're uh, given a uh, correct representation of the uh, emissions that we are putting out in the atmosphere at Greens Creek. Basically, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to establish a zero point and a, uh, a span. And we use, um, right there is all our different calibration gases that are uh, piped up to this instrument for uh, calibration purposes. Okay, so the it's all done here with the computer. Oh, yeah. Basically, you just point and click, and uh, it's all automated up there. Point and through. click, man. So. That's it, man. Well, I'm not sure I want to do the... I actually could. Start a calibration on... I'm going to go ahead and uh, open those bottles. Okay, so part of this process was we just came over here, made sure all the bright bottles are hooked up to the right lines. Uh, these are all new bottles because uh, we're planning on going online shortly. And we tightened all the fittings down, opened all the valves up, and then used some soap solution to make sure we didn't have any leaks here. Uh, apparently, this. Uh, gas that's in these bottles goes through quite a bit of testing to make sure it's what it says it is and it's pretty expensive especially by the time you get it shipped up to Alaska that adds a little more expense so we click start and it's running through and doing its thing it's all automated like I said earlier so it's pretty hands free as far as this part of the deal goes it's just making sure the setup is all taken care of prior to hitting start Okay, and so while we're running this, actually what we're trying to do here is get this thing ready to put back on service because we're going online. And if you look right here, we failed right there. Uh, and what we did when we got that, we went back out there and double checked and uh, one of the cylinders actually was uh, closed, where the valve was closed, so we uh, didn't get any uh, span gas. Came through, so it uh, failed the test. So we've uh, opened the valve up, and uh, we're going to run the test again. And that's about what you do. It's a one method troubleshooting. It's uh, pretty complex. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six generators on site, and we have three cams monitoring six generators for knocks and. That means you saw how many bottles we got out there, and how many valves and lines, and uh, in the past things have gotten mixed up a little bit, and that's what we're trying to do is hopefully get it all straightened out and uh, put back in service here in a month or two. So Emil went out and uh, opened up the valve, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you take a look at the last two tests; they're both good. So uh, that solved that little issue.